Just going to go through and show you some of the books that I have in my library that have helped me over the years while I've been studying Roman mosaics and particularly with regard to making copies of them. Now, four categories that uh, I put my books into. There's the big expensive ones which usually have very good images um, for the actual mosaics themselves. There are the smaller guides, the ones that you usually get in the places that you visit. Again, I'm looking for the ones with the good images on them. Then there's some technical ones uh, purely on the work and finally there's the academic ones. Um, not a lot of pictures in them, they might not be the best quality but the actual the actual academic work is what you buy them for. Uh, good one mosaics in uh, Britain by Patricia Witts going through them here and what the what the images mean to them. This to me is the standard work on Roman mosaics, Catherine Dunbabin's mosaics of the Greek and Roman world. Again pictures aren't that great. Uh, there are sections on technical on what's known about methods of production so you can see mine's a bit worn um, but if you want one academic book get that one now also have some other small ones uh, Kangem is making mosaics that's a good one uh, it's out of print now but uh, about the only one that I found that had some something about the Andamento in though I'm sure there are plenty now um, a technical glossary and one on drawing out geometry which I must say is very good but like with a lot of things tend to just go to Google first if I want to know how to draw something out. Now guidebooks you ever go to a museum always have a look for the guidebooks because you'll, you'll find that they um, a lot of the time they, they can have some very good uh, pictures in them some very good images of the mosaics that they've got in their collection like this one from Piazza Marina as you can see there very nice uh, photos so always keep an eye out for those and Lastly, the, the big expensive ones. Um, with the advent of um, the, the internet, so, so many images going on there, obviously you need to keep uh, be aware of copyright on things. Um, but some of these books, although they can be over £100, they're actually worth sometimes investing in if you can have a look at them uh, for the quality of the images. Very good series, uh, those done uh, by Fatih Chimok, uh, but the mosaics in Turkey. I mean, this is over £100, this is about £25. Um, well worth it because the images on there are about the best I've seen. Some um, older ones, you'll find that they're, they're out of print. I mean, this one, Images in Stone, goes for silly money on uh, places like Amazon. Um, but most probably because they're going to be expensive anyway because they are short run uh, pieces and the, the, the sheer expense of uh, getting, them, getting them printed. So keep an eye out for the guidebooks in the villas and in the museums as I say they, they do have some very good images. Also look out if they have posters for special events that they run there because you usually find that they have a very good image of some of the mosaics and that'll be on the poster so if you can get your hands on one of those um, but say for the rest of the time Google images uh, you can get plenty up from there.